The Magach 7 is a comprehensive upgrade package for Israel's M60 series tanks, which was the mainstay of the IDF's Armored Corps. The Magach 7 is a further development of the Magach 6. It entered service with the Israeli Defense Forces in the 1980s. It has significantly improved capabilities over the original US M60 series tanks. In particular its armor protection was vastly improved. Blazer armor of the previous Magach 6 has been replaced with thick slabs of passive armor, which gives more protection. As a combat account in which salvos of AT-3 Sagas were fired at a Magach 7A in an ambush launched by Hezbollah. Out of the 20 Sagas that hit the tank only two managed to penetrate the roof of the tank which wasn't covered by the applique armor. The ensuing fires were quickly snuffed out by the natural ounce fire detection and suppression system thus leaving a surviving crew. An operation analysis was conducted by the IDF in which they discovered that if the tank was protected by explosive, reactive armor rather than passive armor 9 of the shots would have penetrated the tank. The Magach 7 which features side skirts. The first two sections of the skirts feature ballistic material and are hinged for easy access to the running gear. The rear skirts are made of steel. All the skirts are fitted to heavy-duty springs to prevent them being ripped off while maneuvering. Applique armor has been fitted to the glacis plate and to the turret, giving this MBT it a radically new look. This main battle tank is fitted with new fire control system with a laser rangefinder. Engine of the Magach 7 is an improved version of the previous Continental AVDS 1790-2C. The new AVDS 1790-5A is rated at 908 horsepower and retains a 80% commonality of parts with the older AVDS 1790-2C. The transmission is automatic and sourced from the Merkava MK.1. It has two forward and one reverse gears. The improved suspension of the Magach 7 features additional shock absorbers fitted to the first, second, and sixth road wheels. Hydraulic bumpers have also been added to first, fifth, and sixth road wheels. High strength torsion bars were fitted as standard. The traveling distance has been increased from 180 mm to 200 mm, and energy dissipation has increased by an impressive 355%. It is fitted with tracks of the Merkava MK.1. These improvements gave the Magach 7 a much improved cross country performance, compared to the M60 pattern. As a result weapon stability was enhanced and crew comfort was improved. The main armament of the Magach 7 is still the L7, M68, 105mm rifled gun as fitted to earlier M60S, but now with a bolt-on thermal sleeve for improved accuracy. The main gun fires the full range of 105mm NATO ammunition which include APFSDS, HEAT, HESH, HEAT, APERS, and canister rounds. The M73 machine gun has been replaced by an FNMAG. Bulky cupola of the M60 has been replaced by a low-profile Erdan cupola fitted with an FNMAG. The loader has his own 7.62 FNMAG as well. A 12.7mm M2HB can be fitted to the roof of the turret atop the mantlet for sub-caliber training, or urban combat. The Magach 7 is 9.43 meters long, 3.63 meters wide, 3.25 meters tall, weighs 55 tons, and has 0.83 kilograms per square centimeter ground pressure. It can ford 1.2 meters of water, and can climb a 60% slope along with a 30% side slope. The Magach 7s were gradually replaced by Merkava tanks in frontline units, however these MBTs are still in service with reserve units. Variants Magach 7A, can be recognized by a blocky armor. It entered service with the IDF in the 1980s. Magach 7B, an interim model, which never reached production. Magach 7C, has a redesigned wedge-shaped passive armor. It entered service in the mid-90s. Sabra, further development of Magach 7, fitted with a 120mm smoothball gun, the same as on Merkava MK. 3 and a number of other improvements over the existing Magach 7C. The Turkish M60 series MBTs were upgraded to the Sabra MK.2 standard.